Yo, what's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy, Kevin Forte. And we are taking a look today at the Buffalo Sabres. It's another season that they have been eliminated from the Stanley Cup playoffs. That's all I could do. I could sigh. And we're going to talk about what, what went wrong for the Sabres this season. Is there promise moving into the future? We're going to go over all of that today. So the Buffalo Sabres. So they have not won a playoff series since 2007. And not only that, they have missed the playoffs 13 of the past 15 seasons now. And to cap it all off beyond that, they have snapped the longest playoff drought in NHL history. The new record set by the Buffalo Sabres here in 2022 is 11 straight seasons with no playoff hockey. Absolutely abysmal. Not good. And this is kind of just telling you kind of where this organization has gone. It has, it has not been a good spot here. Uh, you look at their longest, you know, like I said, longest playoff drought in the NHL. The fact that this team just gave away good player, like, yes, they didn't give them away. I understand that, but you traded out Jack Eichel, and it's really, it makes you wonder. It doesn't seem to matter what general manager is in there. This team has just had problems everywhere. Now, the good news is there has been some promise this season, as they've actually, you know, they didn't finish dead last at least at the last time i checked they've actually competed in a couple of games this year and actually made things kind of competitive uh, so there's promise there not to mention they have a lot of young guys that are going to be coming up as soon as next year uh forwards wise you have um jj paterka jack quinn who are the bigger notable guys um on the defense you have owen power coming in which is obviously a huge deal and you're going to have another year of your young goaltender, Uko Pekka Lukonen, as he starts to develop and become a better goaltender. And, you know, this is going to be an important step for him. Uh, I hope they do not ruin his development. That would be really, that would be a shame. Um, so that's kind of what you're looking at right now with the Sabres. Um, I mean, this promise with this team, like I said, the only problem that I do see is goaltending. Because if, if... Lukonen is not ready next year, and they shouldn't rush him. Do, like, I think they rushed to bring him into the NHL this year. It was more of a dire situation. But you got to have more goaltending depth, like actual good goaltending. And this is not a knock on Aaron Dell or Dustin Tokarski or Craig Anderson. But let's be honest, that is not a competent goalie tandem in the NHL right now. I I'm sorry. Like, I'm not even going to say sorry because I think Sabres fans quite honestly know that that is not going to lead to success so if they were trying to tank and that's the goaltending tandem they had perfect then it worked but going into next year you're trying to start you're trying to start building some momentum you have the prospects you have the high-end talent like i said three big name or four big names on this roster that are going to be coming in over the next couple years you need to start doing some winning once those guys come in and I think this is kind of a spot now where the Sabres have to really dig and say to themselves, like, what are we going to do next? And now that, you know, there's been some questionable stuff going on, now that Devin Levi has not signed, he's, you know, his season is done with Northeastern, uh, was a Hobie Baker finalist, he probably won't be signing with the Sabres. So what's the long-term implications of that? That was a big part of the Sam Reinhart trade. So that kind of sucks for the Buffalo Sabres. Um... So now you're really relying on Uko Pekka Lukonen, and that puts a lot of pressure on him, and he's still fairly young. So that's my concern there. Like I said, going into next season, you're going to have guys returning, hopefully. Um, I don't know if Victor Olofsson's going to be back. I get the sense that's a guy that's going to get traded this summer. Um, you're going to have another year of Tage Thompson, who he has been incredible for the Buffalo Sabres. Um, Peyton Krebs, Alex Tuck, obviously a part of the um jack eichel trade i think this is a really good spot for them to be in i haven't been a huge fan of kevin adams honestly as a general manager uh especially with the way he handled the whole eichel situation um and i know my sabers fans will say oh well it was all eichel with that aside um so that's kind of what you're looking at i mean this i mean you guys can see the numbers i put it here in the video i mean this is this is rough this is really you know 
I, I give Sabres fans a lot of credit because that is that talk about diehard fans and devoted. That that's what that is. Like a team that is this bad. You know, the the support they even got this season was pretty impressive. And they were still bottom five in attendance this season. But there was promise. Like I said, there was a lot of people showing up for that Eichel game. Um, and a couple of games here down the stretch, even the game against Pittsburgh's and Boston's. Like, they they were showing up to those games. So that is good to see. Um, they're keeping themselves in, com- you know, competitive in games. They're losing them in shootouts and overtime. Got, you know, Washington, the Rangers a couple of times. Like, so those are good teams. So you're playing competitive games throughout the stretch. It's not it's not like they're losing five nothing every night. And I think that's something that Sabres fans could say. You know what? I'll spend the twenty dollars or forty dollars. I don't I don't know. It's probably somewhere around forty dollars, right? Forty to fifty dollars per ticket right now. Um, you know, to watch at least a good hockey game that if the puck bounces their way, they could actually win. And they're not getting obliterated five nothing every night, right? So. Let me know what you guys think of the Buffalo Sabres going into next season. Do you think they will snap the streak next year? Do you think they will finally end this at 11 consecutive seasons missing the postseason? Or do you think next year they will continue the the NHL record long, making it 12 straight seasons of no playoffs? Hopefully that's not the case, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you again next time.